Yuri. And this is Clifford, my big red dog. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Twilight, mostly. You ever read Clifford the Big Red Dog? <laughs> and telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. You ever, you ever read Clifford Goes to School? <laughs> that was a real foreign world for him. <laughs> but, you know, I like a lot of things. Like, Clifford Makes a Friend. <laughs> Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Just like in <laughs> Clifford 2, The Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't expecting that one. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Like <laughs> Clifford 3. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I can't even go there. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Oh. God, I wow. wish I was Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> <laughs> you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. For example, on the inside you might be a giant dog. Yeah, hard to know with a big old dog heart. Maybe you're red. <laughs> I don't know, it was just off the top of my head. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. No, it reminds me of, uh, Clifford's birthday party mixed with, uh, Clifford the Firehouse Dog. <laughs> Did I just raise my voice? I'm so sorry. I'm as embarrassed as Clifford the Big Red Dog was in Clifford's Good Deeds. <laughs> Needless to say, the, the I- The penultimate copy. <laughs> I googled a list of all the Clifford the Big Red Dog books, and I will be referencing them. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Like, when the author tried to write Clifford's Big Week and couldn't really get a hold on the story or the character. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Like in Clifford Takes a Trip. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. She's a bitch and you shouldn't date her. <laughs> biased how? Um. I've said too much. Well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Uh-oh. Like Clifford did when he met the small red puppy. <laughs> Maybe he was it's the small fine. red puppy. It's fine. It's voiced by Kel Mitchell. Oh, really? I'm not sure if... It was the bulldog it was voiced by Kel oh, Mitchell. Oh, okay. In the cartoon. Oh, yeah, the one from Clifford's Best Pals. I was a huge fucking <laughs> fan of that cartoon, I'll be honest with you. Uh, Kel's awesome. Clifford was voiced by John Ritter. Really? Yeah, he's like Whoa. the perfect voice for him. Oh, love him. Anyway, I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Always the sign of that we're having a killer playthrough when you're like, Anyway. <laughs> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. A big red dog, am I? 